With games like Eagle Flight, Robinson the Journey, and Here They Lie, all available within the first months of PlayStation VR's launch, virtual reality worlds look nothing like we thought they would two decades ago. I figured when we finally got affordable VR helmets in our living rooms, everything would look reminiscent of movies like Tron, with simple geometry and even simpler gameplay. But have no fear, to fulfill the inaccurate assumptions of 16-year-old Brian Paul comes Hollow Ball on PSVR. And for the first time since the launch of the Wii, I had to rearrange furniture to play a game. See, I live in a relatively small apartment, leaving me with just enough room to play games comfortably. But Hollow Ball requires about 8 square feet of space to play, roughly two more than I had in every direction. But with a little determination, I managed to create enough space and give Hollow Ball a fair shake. Hollow Ball, for all intents and purposes, is VR Racquetball. You'll pretty much stand still, but with two move controllers serving as your two rackets, one in each hand, you'll be swinging your arms and knocking things off bookshelves, wildly, often forgetting about your real-life surroundings. Now obviously, this was just my experience. Anyone with even a slightly larger space should have no trouble at all, but the warning is worth repeating. And outside of that, Hollow Ball is a fun experience. You hit the ball, the AI hits it back. It's simple, it's fun. And allowing a second player to take control of the AI paddle using the PSVR social screen might be a stroke of genius, keeping this primarily single player experience from being too isolating. And the clean 80s version of the future really works here. It means that you won't often lose track of your ball and there's not much to distract you from the game at hand. Being able to control your swing and slice feels totally natural with the move controllers, and better yet, you're able to retract your ball by holding down the trigger, allowing you to set up some very cool shots, otherwise impossible. How about isn't super long, you can probably blast through the campaign's four difficulty modes in an hour or two, but it might have you coming back for the score attack and endurance modes, where you can try to top the weekly leaderboards, or just try to beat your own personal best. There's not a lot here, but what there is, is pretty fun, and really addictive. And if you've got a friend who wants to try VR for the first time, this might be a perfect place to start. $15? Well spent. <laughs>